Sorry about that. Just making sure everything's working. I should have done this beforehand. But yes. This is the, um, well, the process of a Mini Mayhem's page. Should be simple enough. This will be also, this will also be a video up on YouTube. Uh, if you're on, if you're watching this on YouTube now, congratulations, you're watching it. <laughs> but yeah, the main thing I use is GIMP. The only time I don't is if I'm adding any little special effects, and well, eh, there, it's not really always needed. But for things like the elemental powers pages, you saw how how handy that came in. But we're not doing anything like that. We're just putting the basic page together. So first and foremost, one of my, uh, well, the first step is just to, uh, is to get the pictures. And let's start with these. Well, we're only going to do one page today, so congratulations, you're seeing page number 79. So, obviously, the first thing I do is get the pictures, and it stacks like that, so first thing I got to do is canvas size. Uh... Then just a little bit of, oh, a little bit of uh, moving things around. Simple enough to follow. Now I am very, I'm very specific about how I put these together. I wasn't when I first started, but it's a different situation now. I like to be very precise there we go all right next step this little thing this is my personal savior because I use this literally as what I call it it's like a border box, which if you've seen some of the little uh, mock compilations like Ultimate Makuda, or anything, any of the Makuda forms, and even Lego Reshiram, you'll notice it, there's like a little border around it. Well, that's this thing, warped. Literally just like you see here, like it's very thin now, but I usually just use it as a big box in the background. Okay, and I just use that to cover those up. I know I could have a, an extra background layer and have that all black, but eh, I like doing it like that. Makes it a little different every time. Uh, next step is the um, the text. Now, I don't normally plan text unless I really feel like it's a specific thing I'm going for like um, I, I don't even know if there was any pages that had any sort of text planned it's usually just an idea like for this one they find the axe body spray and well I just sort of go along with what I do so just give me a second uh, think of a little bit of things here also, going through here to select font, and I just messed that up, because first one I'm going for is spur, and my default, oh, too big, too big, too big, my default uh, text size for spur and jack is, on this page size, um, uh, 60 well you can see it right there 
for the rest of, for pretty much every other character it's 70. The only time it changes is if I need it to be smaller or bigger for emphasizing loudness or quietness or that kind of thing. The only reason it's different for Spur and Jack is just because their fonts are a bit bigger. But literally bolder. I literally choose bold when I don't have to. And it's never going to change. So, And one thing that was recently... I recently implemented was centered text it's not a huge thing but you know what it makes it I don't know I like I it makes it feel better to me in my opinion so yeah I'm gonna take a few moments to just sort of go through and add a little bit of text it might take a few minutes just because like I said I'm Going off the top of my head here. Okay, now move on to the scuffs text. So I can't help it. I uh, have to continue the, uh, the, the 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 skull spider joke. Well, I gotta sneeze. And I can't anymore. Oh well. Well, next step. Next step. Next step. Next step is the speech bubbles, like the actual bubble. Because honestly, it can sometimes be very difficult to read text on a multicolored background or just a picture background. Because really, like, that is a little hard to read. Not impossible, but a little hard. And just to, the br the what the tools I use for the bubble are the brush tool. I believe that's the brush tool. The, yeah, the paintbrush tool. And the eraser, if need be, simply just because it's, I don't have a hard edge for mine. And as far as um, one thing I noticed is someone said about uh, not knowing how to change the size. As far as changing the size of the actual brush, because I mean you can change the color here, obviously. But um, as far as like the actual size, like right now, it's like that. That doesn't work. <laughs> it does not work at all. So right here, the size. Bring it up. For me, the actual bubble, the like the main portion of the bubble, I do um, like a hunt the whoops, the brushes at about hundred. Yeah, eh, words. I do uh, the brushes at a hundred. But I mean, if you have a bigger picture size, it, you'll probably want more. Just if you want to, if you're gonna make your own page, similar in this style, then you'll ha obviously you'll have to adjust things like font size, brush size. But I mean, I don't know. If you want to bring it down to the scale, you can. But I'm just working with iPod quality, which honestly isn't the best quality. But at the same time, I'm thinking of slightly upgrading won't say to what exactly actually yeah I'll say it. I'm thinking of um, 
phone quality. Like, actually getting a phone instead of having an iPod. Because honestly, I think a phone, in my situation, would be a little bit more useful. Unfortunately, a bit costly, but <laughs> useful. Also, when I say using the the, the, the eraser, because if you notice, it's still the same thing as that. Because I can create slightly smoother edge. Not required, but you know, it's the little details that count. It's why it's why I'm planning so much of this series. Well, actually, I'm planning like what you see here is actually kind of planned. Well, for very planned. It's it was series one, and that wasn't planned. And series three, I'm hoping, is going to be a bit more, I want to say, sporadic. I don't know. I don't know if that's the right word, but I, I don't want to have a backlog of pictures, is what I'm trying to say. Because if you notice, I had a lot of uh, pictures there. And I think I even said at some point, I have all the pictures I need to finish the... Um, uh, revamped arc, but at the same, but I mean, like, wh while that is good to have, it's, I don't, there's just something about it that doesn't feel right to me, so I don't want to do that later on, because like I said, it, it can work, it can work, but I don't want it, I don't want to have to rely on it like that. Alright, segueing back to what I'm actually doing, is um, now for the little thing that to actually show which character is what. And, so like before, that's too big, or at least in my opinion that is. So, my next size for just that little stick there, just a, down to 80. But like I said, if you're making your own page with a similar style to this, uh, depending on the size of the pictures you're using, you may have to adjust the pixel size. You may it may be a hundred for you, and a hundred and fifty for the for the bubble. It's whatever, whatever makes your situation work. That's the entire basis behind uh, behind this series. It's just that I'm using what I have in front of me. What I have, what what I have easy access to. And also, just a little note. Starting, I think it was sometime. It was, I think it was sometime late in the first series. But the creator does not is not supposed to have like a little. He's not supposed to have this. He's not. He's act for in at least in my series, while he is a physical entity, he sort of goes back and forth between like a between sort of I I don't know, like a physical and sort of He sometimes just doesn't exist physically. Like sometimes he's just the voice there. Which is really why the the the, the the uh, reason why the 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 made up reason why he's not there. The real reason is just because I I can't take a picture of myself and I don't trust other people to do it. But yeah, that's the uh, the speech bubbles. And like I said, if you're not sure where to change the size, down here, like literally. Down here, there's, um, like you literally have all of your different things. The only thing, in my opinion, that you should change is the size of the actual brush. Other than that, you should be good. And even if you don't want to use a brush, you can use the, uh, the pencil tool, the spray tool. I wouldn't recommend the spray tool. Definitely wouldn't recommend the fill tool. <laughs> But I mean, if like 
you, there's all these things down here. I've never tried them. If you want to be courageous and explore the different options there, by all means do so. I probably will in the future. Because like I said, I have plans for other characters. So who knows, maybe we'll see some characters with some funky speech bubbles. Maybe. I don't know. I have yet to experiment. But yeah, that's the speech bubbles down. So there's only one other thing left to actually finish the page. And that is... My personal watermark. It may not seem important, but honestly, I'd rather have it there and no one try and take credit for it than it not be there and someone literally just reposts it. Because, well, I've had a situ I've had a situation happen before where someone reposted my work, and it's what drove me to watermark my stuff. And if, no matter what type of artistry you do, I always recommend you have some sort of watermark. Even if it's just your name in the corner, it's still there to say that you are the creator of it. That was not intentional to reference the series. Uh, wrong one. Uh, there we go. Scale layer. Scale. Move down the corner, and I always make it 50% transparent, just because that means you'll see something through it, but you'll still also see the watermark. And that is it. Time to save. And on R79, save. And next up is just to export it. This is the part that can sometimes take a while. Because with a six panel page with at least one character talking in each panel, um, it really makes this bar go across slowly. Just uh, throwing that out there, especially if you're working, if you're working with a much much bigger scale type pictures, then it will take a while to obviously export the thing. Almost, do do. There we go. That is the making of a page now there's an extra step which is I I make a version for tumblr because tumblr has a very has a small it has a smaller file upload limit or smaller picture upload limit so what I what I usually have to do is I actually have to shrink the picture down and I always make sure to shrink it down just to the point where it's under it's it's able to be uploaded but can still be read. Um, so I just do a scale image, and honestly, th this is very it it this can like I said just like everything it varies from. From person to person, to however they, to how to what to whatever size their picture actually is. For me, I just uh, rough it down to the to a fifteen hundred width, 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 just because it's it's just easy for me to remember. And obviously seventy nine point one, just because it's the next little update to it. It isn't much of an update, but I mean, it's it's able to be posted on Tumblr now. And I do my pages in sixes. Obviously, referencing the uh, the idea in Bionicle of six. Like, six Toa, six bad guys. Six, six everything, pretty much. And that was actually 
unintentional having six characters in this series. Although you could technically say it's seven with Sparks. A lot more if you include all the little side characters. Um, but yeah, there that's pretty much it. Um, I don't think there's anything else. I there I don't really think there is anything else I could do. The only other thing I could have done would have been just to show you how I do the effects for the page series, which honestly is limited to the page series because I can't animate. So sorry, but if you want it if you want something high quality for something like uh like the Mini Mayhem's movies, you're out of luck because I can't I don't I don't have the patience for animating. So yeah, that's that's my process in making a, putting together I should say, a Mini Mayhem's page. It should be obvious how I take the pictures. I mean, obviously I just pose the characters and snap a picture. Simple as that. And obviously cameras can vary, so that's why your page sizes can vary, but yeah. That's how it all works. Um, like I said at the beginning of this, this will be a video up on YouTube. So, if you didn't catch all of this, or if there was something you missed and you wanted to sort of go over it again, you can check out YouTube sometime either later tonight or sometime tomorrow and where the video will be up. And you can watch it as many times as you want, if you want, if this is something that actually interests you, I guess. I, I, I don't know. There's not much else I really can say. So, w before I start rambling, I'm going to say, uh, I'm going to sign off. So, shifter, out.